What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna to do a full detailed installation on the Arma Speed cold air intake on your B58 Toyota GR Supra 3.0. So this is gonna be kind of a shorter video, exactly going over every little detail on installing this kit. So you're gonna know exactly what to expect when installing this for your own Supra, all the little ins and outs, how to line it up correctly, and just get the fitment spot on. So to begin installing your aftermarket intake, we gotta get your stock stuff off. Now, if your car is equipped with factory strut bars, you are gonna to wanna to remove these two bolts. You can use an 11 millimeter on them. Once they're removed, you can take your strut bars off, of course, and now we have better access to get this off. So you're gonna have two small T20 bolts holding this temperature sensor into the intake. Just gonna remove the two and pull this thing right out. So from there, right around here, you're gonna have a basic hose clamp. You're gonna use a flathead and remove this clamp and get it off of there. And then from here, all you really need to do is push the inlet pipe off of the airbox itself, just like that. And this airbox is gonna be sitting in the car with three rubber grommets. You just firmly lift it up and you will end up popping this right out and we can remove the entire air box. And with the air box out, what you're gonna do is go down the inlet pipe and you're gonna see that crankcase breather. Right there is a little plastic fitting. You're gonna pinch the corrugated edges, which is on this side and it's on the opposite end as well. And once you pinch these two, you're gonna be able to pop that off of that fitting. It will take a little bit of effort. Basically, I find you just gotta pinch it like this or use your middle finger and then use your other hand's middle finger on the opposite side. And you're gonna be able to pinch that and pop it off. Be careful, you don't wanna break it, of course. However, it's not all too difficult. But once that's off, the next thing is gonna be this metal clamp right here. This is a fitting that's gonna be on the bottom of that turbo. You can see the plastic grooves down in here on the turbo itself, you're gonna use a flat head in your hand and pull that right off of this tube. And once all that's off, you're gonna basically wiggle the whole pipe off and remove it. So now let's take a quick look at what you're gonna get in the box from Armaspeed. So we're gonna get this really nice glossy carbon fiber pipe. You're gonna have a silicone coupler, a small clamp for that, a matching clamp as well. You're gonna of course have your air filter you have three choices of lids. You can get woven carbon fiber to match the pipe, forged carbon fiber, or the standard one is gonna be a black aluminum. The black aluminum will of course match this heat shield. So here's your heat shield. There's gonna be a piece right there on the bottom of that bracket. And then you're gonna have two brackets up here with this flat section. So one thing you wanna make sure is to have this installed on your heat shield. And then these brackets need to be in this exact orientation. So they are bent in a unique way, of course, to fit that lid over there. But when you look at them, they're gonna be fitting just like this. We'll get a better look once it's installed onto the car. But you can see how the smaller ends is on the upper one and this longer bottom one is gonna go on the lower one. So then along with that, you're gonna have another bracket and then a few small bolts. So to begin your installation, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and put the black silicone coupler on the bottom of your intake pipe and have this clamp on it. It's really, really hard to do this if you already put it on the car. So make sure you get this clamp tightened, ready to go. You wanna leave at least three fourths of the rubber exposed to clamp onto that turbo. And then go ahead and slide on the other clamp loosely to this one. Make it in the orientation to where you can see that bolt because this is going to sit in the car like this and you're gonna to wanna to have access to that turbo inlet from right here to tighten that bolt. So now that it is tight and secure on the pipe, and then we have the other clamp loose, we can slide this down and just slide it right on to the turbo inlet and just kind of loosely fit that on. And then we can grab this breather hose and you're gonna gently line this up. You might have to pull your intake up a little bit. You don't wanna break this breather hose. It's about 30 bucks to replace it from Toyota, but lining it up like that, we can get it on there and use my pointer finger, just pulling it down and we are clipped into place just like that. And then now to begin on installing your heat shield, as you can see, this is gonna be the orientation. You need to have these two brackets installed. They're gonna to have to be there in order to get the lid correctly. So with that squared away, you're also gonna see this piece right here is gonna line up with the factory rubber grommets. Make sure all three rubber grommets are still in place. But we're gonna slide this in loosely. Now we haven't tightened that one bolt connecting this pipe to the turbo just yet because you need to be able to wiggle this a little bit. So you're gonna slide the heat shield onto the pipe 
And then you're gonna line up the posts on the heat shield with the two rubber grommets that are inside the air box. Now, you're also gonna wanna make sure you push this into the correct angle to where this will line up with the strut tower. If this is too far in here, you might have poor fit. And then one more look at these brackets. That is the orientation and how they're going to be. So you can see how this lower one is slightly bent upwards. That will correspond with here. And then this is a 90 degree. And then this one, the longer one is on the bottom and it's kind of bent a little bit differently. That way it will line up. But make sure those are exactly like that. And then from here, you're just gonna slide your air filter into place. It might be a little bit tight right here on this fender liner. So again, you're gonna have to wiggle this around a little bit to line it up. But once it is, you can go ahead and tighten up this clamp right here and then make sure you pull the heat shield towards the base of this air filter once again to keep this piece lined up with the strut tower right there. And then with the air filter tight, of course, go ahead and tighten up that clamp. Now you're gonna wanna search for that other bracket holding the intake tube on. Use a long flathead and you'll be able to tighten up this clamp right here. And then from there, everything is nice and tight. Now, before you tighten it, you wanna kinda of push this pipe downwards just to help line up this heat shield into those grommets. Then go ahead and tighten that. Now, another thing you're gonna notice, it still will have some wiggle room. This is a floating airbox design. It's not bolted down. It is simply sitting in these rubber grommets. You can get a closer look at the rubber grommets. So this is down there as well. So of course, you know, it could pop up and down. It can wiggle in and out but that's just how it's going to be. You're gonna watch the rev clip in a second. When you're driving, your engine vibrates left to right, so you need flex on this air intake. So this air box, there's going to be wiggle room. So then last but not least, it is time to install your lid. So this small bracket, you're gonna see how it's designed. This, you're just gonna pop into that rubber grommet, line this up about perpendicular to your car, just like that. And then when we're gonna install this, we're going to just place this over all the brackets. Now from here, you're gonna have to manipulate this a little bit to line it up. As you can tell, you don't really see any holes just yet. So we're gonna notice that is a fixed mounting location. So we're going to find the hole right here and insert the screw. So with that screw inserted loosely, now you're going to basically manipulate the carbon fiber lid to find all the holes. So you're gonna have to push it a little bit. It's flexible, it's carbon fiber, so that's okay. But get this screw ready to go. I'm gonna work on this one now. So I'm gonna have to pull this chunk a little bit to the left and push it down and kind of holding it there, I can get this one into the hole. And then once again, we're gonna kind of wiggle this a little bit, press it down. You might have to take your one hand and push the heat shield a little bit just to help line it up. But now that I've found that hole, once again, we're gonna insert that screw loosely. And then last but not least, we just need to find this hole over here. Now, once again, I might have to push this the opposite direction now. So I'm pushing it a little bit away, lining up that hole, and now everything is in place. And once again, you're gonna see there's wiggle room, that's okay. So now, I'm just gonna push everything downwards and start tightening everything. So just keep that in mind, because three of these brackets are not fixed, you will have to manipulate it, wiggle it around to find all the holes. But as you can see, it's installed. And once again, since this is a floating design, there's gonna be wiggle room, you know, there's gonna be flex to everything the way it works, which is all perfectly fine. But as you can see, it lines up nicely right into here and everything fits perfectly. So then next up, it's gonna come with two more bolts, which are for that sensor in your air intake. You're gonna use the two that it comes with and then just take that sensor, slide it back into place, and of course, insert the screws using the same Allen key you use for this. So last but not least, if your car does have factory strut bars, this kit will fit perfectly with those bars. So of course, you're just going to reline everything up, insert your screws, and you are good to go. Now, this Armor Speed Air Intake is designed to fit your factory bars. You can see there's perfectly good clearance all around it, even with the flex that this intake is going to have while driving, perfectly fitted. Now, Armor Speed is not gonna guarantee this will fit with every aftermarket strut bar brand. So if you want perfect fitment, you just go with the Arma Speed brand bars. So installing these ones, as you can tell, perfect fit, lines up very nice and straight, really good fit. If you do opt for the Ford carbon fiber lid, it'll match this pretty nicely. So kind of cool that you can mix and match. Now, as far as other brands, my Rec Speed bars do fit perfectly fine. If I go ahead and install them, as you can tell, just like factory, you have good clearance all the way around. Now, if you have a different brand, there's no guarantee they're gonna fit, especially if they're the ones that are very flat and wide. 
it might hit this corner. But there is the full detailed installation. Every little tip and trick you're gonna need to know when installing this air intake for your Toyota Supra. Now let's cut to the sound. This is a pretty rowdy intake system, makes some really good turbo sounds, really wakes up the engine, and it looks great being full carbon fiber. So there you guys go, full detail install on the Armor Speed intake. Of course, this is linked down below if you would like to order this for your B58 Toyota Supra. These ship out very quickly, great options. We've sold tons of these. I've installed this on both of my Supras and even one of my friend's Supras. And the installation has been exactly the same for every car that I've worked on this. So just keep all those tips and tricks in mind when you're installing this. And I hope you guys enjoy your new intake for your Supra. This thing is definitely a sweet way to go.